leaders are not truthful, and we want leaders who speak the truth, and they're yearning for that. Truthfulness. Do you know Sleeman Spear? Yeah? It is, at the Secretan Center, it's known as the corporate beer. It is uh, the favorite beer, the favored beer. You'll see that on the Sleeman's bottle, there's no label. And that's because they want you to know that the truth doesn't need to be expressed in a label with all kinds of print and marketing and so on. What you see is what you get. So the truth is in the bottle. We take the label off. You just look at the bottle. This is no unnatural ingredients, no added you know, non-toxic kinds of things. We simply make very, very good beer. See for yourself. Now, they've caught, for, they've caught this sort of feeling about truth-telling. And uh, they have, therefore, created a series of commercials around the idea of truth-telling. I want to show you a couple of them. Some of you may have seen these. Oh. Congratulations, dear. The service was so long and boring. Thanks. Oh. I have no idea who you are, but I'm sure you gave us a lovely gift. No. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Didn't think we'd see this day. <laughs> Your parents told us all about the incident. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was awkward. I think we'll move on now. Hi, how are you? Even though I can't remember your name. Fine, thanks. I can't remember yours either. How about I just call you man or buddy or big guy? Okay. Uh, you know, I think your name is Paul. I'm afraid to say it out loud just in case you get it wrong. So let me introduce you to my girlfriend, Sandra, and pause. Hi. Uh, in hopes that you'll finally mention your name. Steve, no. Carlos, no. Pedro, no. Shasta, no. Show with an A, no. Show with an H, no. Truth telling. Truth telling. We don't see a lot of it in modern organizations, and what people are afraid of is the lack of truth-telling. When did you last see a truthful performance appraisal? A truthful reference letter? A truthful budget? You see how far we've become detached from the truth in the modern organization? Let me tell you a story about Skip Turner. Skip Turner works for Mount Carmel in Columbus. And he's responsible for negotiating the payments. As you know, in the US, the healthcare system is a uh, private sector system. So he negotiates the payments from the insurance companies to pay for the, the services that the uh, hospitals provide. So he negotiates with the big insurers, and that is typically not a truth-telling kind of relationship. You can imagine what I'm meaning. So he works with us in a, what we call a higher ground leadership retreat, and during that time we, we discuss at length truth-telling and how it might change the culture and nature of leadership at Mount Carmel. When he goes home, he has a meeting with one of the insurers, and he sits down with them in this first meeting after the retreat, and he says to them, after we've done some calculations on a procedure that we are covered for by you, uh, we notice that we pay our physicians, we pay our operating expenses, we make a reasonable profit, and we've still got money left over. So I brought with me a check for $50,000, which is in excess of our needed profits for last year. Well, insurance people practically fall out of their chairs. <laughs> they have never heard anybody say anything like this in their lives. So they, he goes away, and uh, Skip Turner goes away, and when he gets back a few days later, he gets a call from the insurance company. And they say, could you come and visit us? And he said, sure. So he goes down and visits with them, and they say, we have been looking at some books that we've closed in our transactions with you, we had to go back for another reason. You're all finished and paid up now for those years. But in going through those years, we noticed that we had underpaid you $120,000. <laughs> so we'd like to give you a check for $120,000. <laughs> this is not the only story I could tell you about this sort of thing. 